Thanks for joining us on this Thursday afternoon. We have a few clouds passing over the valley and uh, particularly over northern Minnesota, and some of them are yielding some raindrops. Here's a look at Grand Forks. This is where things are happening now. It's the power of our first alert sky cam network. Now we got some wet streets. It was a pretty good little sprink, uh, sprinkle rather that made its way through town. As you look off to more of a westerly direction, you could actually see in the distance the rain shaft. You can see the daylight behind this side. There's no rain shaft there, but here it is. The rain is making its way down to the ground. So some brief showers that are locally heavy, but here's what we're looking forward to. This is what you need to know. Friday, tomorrow, fabulous. The best day of the forecast period. We're back to reasonable and seasonable. Uh, a few rumbles of thunder can't be ruled out and there's no snow chance. Now, as we take a look at Saturday, great weather continues, but we get hot, increasing humidity. I can't rule out a spotty rumble of thunder and then on Sunday, get the air conditioners out. The heat continues. We will have an increased chance of some thunderstorms in the area and with the heat and humidity in place, some could be Strong indeed 70 at both Moorheads Airport and Fargo's Airport North Northwest wind as advertised yesterday right around 15 miles per hour. Dew points are still pretty dry in the 50s and this number will change as we head into the weekend. We'll show you how in a minute right now. Cooler 60s where we have more clouds and rain passing from northwest to southeast through central Minnesota. Bemidji 64, Roseau 63, 73 for Devils Lake and right now Fergus Falls has 72 degrees. Here are those clouds streaming through the Red River Valley, basically from Canada down to South Dakota, and the best chance of spotty showers will be from Roseau County in towards the Bemidji area and portions of Clearwater County. This trend will continue to slowly slide east as low pressure that's way out here off the map continues to bring cool air over the top of our region. That cool northwesterly flow has kept us cool for several days. Here are the showers, by the way, that we're looking at from our home of economy camera. There's that sidewalk soaker passing to the west of town. You're going to notice that down by the mall here shortly, moving south towards Thompson along I-29. As we look out into southern parts of Grand Forks County between Northwood and Thompson, we have a shower passing through with another one on its heels. So some quick hitters out there, not a lot of rainfall, generally a tenth or two tenths of an inch at best. Here's your forecast. Rain chances will continue this evening, and then as the sun sets, that about does that. Heading into the late night hours, temperatures will be in the pretty cool but comfortable 60s and will fall fairly quickly in our western counties and eastern counties. The northwest west winds subside a little bit. Now, see the dark colors here. Patchy fog is going to be most possible in northwest Minnesota and the Red River Valley. We could start our day with some of you in, uh, in the upper 40s for your day and low 50s, but by and large, most of us here in the valley and points west will start our Friday fabulous and in the mid 50s. A lot of sunshine. The morning hours, no wind arrows at all. Very pleasant conditions and temperatures ramping up to better than we got today in many locations, even in lakes country. We're back in the 70s there with sunny skies for all. The wind is gone. It'll be the most enjoyable day of the forecast period as we'll see temperatures that will kiss 80 degrees west, mid and upper 70s at the lakes area. A perfect time to get that lake weekend started a little bit early. Glassy waters. This is in Hutch's forecast for tomorrow. Fargo, 55 to start. Warm it up to near 80. We'll have light wind, uh, generally 5 to 10 miles per hour. The direction will be variable, but late in the day it becomes a little more southerly. Near 80 west. 75 to 80 east, sun for all. And check out this guy hanging out on the thistles. Every time I do that, I get those little thorny things. No fun at all. He didn't seem to mind. All right, your forecast for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, temperatures near 90. One or two strong storms on Saturday. I think more widespread as chances increase, as with the humidity increasing Sunday. Next week, we will have a dry start, but return to some stormy weather as we will endure some heat next week. Well in the 90s for some areas, mid 90s. You find yourself hanging out on a lot of thistles? Well, you know, walking barefoot yeah. through the grass can sometimes <laughs>